about 6.30, quarter to 7, I was in the house doing some um, work, and I looked out our side window, and all I could see was red flames, so I called 911 and I'm from the back porch. Linda was in a panic on the phone with dispatchers. And told them that, you know, the address and all that. I was a little loud, but, uh, you know, she, she got it through. And then they came very quickly. They were here very quickly, but the fire was so fast and so hot. Hot enough to melt two vehicles and even the siding turned to almost liquid form dripping off the side of Linda's house next door. You can even see siding melted on her detached garage behind the home. It was amazing. I I was scared, to be honest. It's the first time I've ever been scared. She tells me two brothers lived next door, but only one was able to get out. Willie did not make it out alive, and he meant a lot to them. Willie next door was one of my husband's closest friends, and um, he is having a difficult time with that. Um, we had to leave the house and we had no electricity because it took the transformer out. And uh, we didn't see the side of the house till we were able to come back when we were across the street. He was a very close friend of my husband's. They were good friends. She, he spent a lot of time talking with them. They did work together. I mean, they were in and out all the time. He did the lawns and that. and. Um, he just talked to him all the time. He was a sea captain and they talked about that and they enjoyed each other's company very much. And he used to call me Wilson because every time I needed my husband, I'd look over the fence. So he called me Wilson. He never called me by my first name. <laughs>